important to hear God's call if you're discerning the priesthood is you have to be able to listen, and that's the biggest thing. Going into college, my whole mindset in terms of career, in terms of what I wanted to be and what I thought my parents really wanted me to be was, was to be a doctor. I majored in biochemistry, and I was kind of on that path to, to, to or at least telling myself, you know, let's, let's look at med school. As I went to LMU, I realized that medical school probably wasn't an option for me. And so I looked into different things, and one of the things I did enjoy doing was teaching. And it was really as a teacher that, you know, my vocation really started to come to fruition. And so what happened was, you know, being a teacher and talking about my faith and trying to encourage people to come to faith, it brought, it brought me to experiences on retreats. And things just kept on rolling and rolling from there. You know, from there I entered into spiritual direction, started meeting, um, started going to the sermon group, and then got to a point where I was just going to commit, you know. On my day of ordination, it was, uh, it was a crazy experience. And so here I am sitting, facing the altar, and just watching everything happen before the call. And it was just weird. It was just odd. And then finally hearing my name, you know, standing up and feeling my knees buckle a little bit. And then just that feeling of, of awesomeness. I mean, a feeling of peace, really. Um, for me, the laying on the hands was the most important part of, most powerful part of the ordination rite because it was that real intimacy that I experienced uh, with an individual priest who represented Christ. So it was that really great intimacy of Christ, recognizing that here is Christ calling me, here is Christ choosing me to be one of his priests, to go out and continue his work in the world, to go out and, and do what he did. And so it was a powerful experience of, of emotion, a powerful experience of, of being chosen for, for this ministry and being able to, to, to lay it all out there. Wherever I go, you know, I bring my priesthood with me. Uh, but part of the priesthood is also uh, having those normal, I guess, ordinary interactions with people as you do, as any other person would do. You know, we're not, we're not someone who just, we just see at liturgies and, and that's all. You know, we're also people who interact with our friends, with our family, and do all those things. But it's really God working through my life, using me as as an instrument for, for his work, you know, using me as, as, a, as a tool to, to do his work here in, here in the world. God also works or calls us through the experiences that we have, you know, through scripture as the word of God, through the moments we experience love or an invitation from someone else to consider the priesthood. That's God speaking through them, inviting you to something. And so it's also being aware of how God is interacting in our life, most profoundly through our prayer, but also through our everyday interaction.